you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is Sunday. We do have our 1030 content. We usually don't have these on Sundays. So I actually wasn't prepared for this. I just last second realized it was 1030 to check. And I forgot that we are getting something new in Madden that we always have every year that we actually have not seen yet to this point. I don't really usually know what the release date looks like on these cards. So I was not really prepared for this, but obviously they are out. I'm going to see if they're coming out. I don't know if they're coming out in sets or whatever or how they're going to be doing this. But I do have a screenshot over on Twitter to go over all the cards and all the stats and go over them accordingly. Let's see if there's any special packs. There is. Football Outsiders is now in Madden. If you guys don't already know, Football Outsiders is a kind of like a weird side promo, kind of like a cherry on top that they add every year. That like once a week or so, they drop these Football Outsider cards like with like weird stats, right? Like guys who have the, uh, the highest average air distance yards or like the guy who's caught the most targeted depth of target you guys understand what i'm saying all that weird stuff so those typically what those kind of cards are so this pack guarantees you an 85 to a 90 football outside this player which seems pretty risky considering if you get an 85 an 86 or even an 87 or yeah if you get actually yeah, if you get anything besides an 88 and above you literally lose all your training and i think there's a really good chance if you lose it. and you lose a lot so like an 85 you're losing like all you're only getting back like one third of it so you could quickly really lose a ton of training here so i do not really recommend this pack at all i'll let other people do it and then i'll just buy the players off the auction block now let's go see if any of them are on the block and if they are not we'll head on over to twitter guys but before we get into this video make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button boys we're grinding out to 10k we're at about 9.4k right now you guys are killing with all the support as of late i cannot wait for that milestone i might have to even construct myself a little cardboard box 10k milestone uh play button right there to put behind the videos i know it'll be kind of corny but I think it'd be cool now guys if you haven't already go down below turn on that noti bell make sure to hit give this video a big thumbs up show some support boys if you're loyal and you watch every day just drop a like on the video no giveaway necessary today but guys if you haven't already also comment down below what you think of the football outsider cards and what if you're excited for these or not before we get into it i'll give you guys a second to comment it down below now let's head on over to the auction block and go check out these football outsider cards real quick and see what we're rocking with so we go over to program let's see program Football Outsiders, there we go. So we have a Jamie Collins up. Let me show you guys the stats real quick. So we got 86 Jamie Collins. Let's see what the description is first. About 20 Football Outsiders. Led the NFL with 14 defeats in September, including three interceptions and 3.5 sacks. So like I said, they have some weird stats on the card that kind of like sum up why they got this card. So he's got 81 speed, 84 excel, 80 tackle, 87 play rec. So those are his top stats. So the speed's okay at outside linebacker. For an 86 overall, the speed's... A little bit on the lower side, actually. He's got 84 acceleration, 87 play rec, 80 tackle. See, if this card had better, like an 80 block shedding, I'd say it wouldn't be a bad, that bad of a card. But I think it's kind of lacking in that department. And see what some of his underlying stats are. He's got 65 catching, not horrible. 80 tackling, we know that. 88 jumping, actually. Okay, that's not horrible at all, considering you could use him. 85 impact blocking, which isn't too bad. And he's got 80, uh, 75 zone, 89 stamina. 83 hit power, not horrible. This Jamie Collins card isn't horrible. It is a start to football outsider, so I imagine we got some more, way better cards coming out. Here we go. Jair Alexander. I'm actually excited to check out this card because I am a big fan of Jair Alexander in real life. He's got 89 speed. Okay, 89 speed, 89 excel, 90 agility. That's some like top tier athleticism at a cornerback right now. 80 jumping, 83 play rec, 85, and he's gone. 85, what was it? Zone, uh, man coverage, 81 zone, 87 press. This card, if it is cheap enough, will be a budget beast type cornerback. I don't know if he'll be going below 100k, but if he does, because he's going he's a store pack, this card's pretty awesome. I really do like this card. Let's see his underlying stats are 67 catching. Let's see what his run support is. Kick return. He can kick return. He has an 81 kick return, so I guess he can do that. Uh, let's see. Juke, 75. Decent block shedding. Good hit power. Let's go check that out. 855. So... Not a bad cornerback at all. If he goes for below 100K, might even be a budget beast corner with that type of athleticism. Okay, wow, they're coming out quickly right now. Darren Waller. Now, this is a car that I might have to pick up. 86 speed tight end because Darren Waller is a budget beast type tight end. If this car goes below 100K, he's going to be a solid pickup at tight end. That speed is going to be killer. 86 speed, 72 run blocking. This is going to be a fire car to use. Let's see what his thing is. Third among tight ends with 59 defensive yards. I don't know what that means. D-Y-A-R, not defensive yards. 
uh, deep yards. I don't know. Anyways, you guys get the point. He's at 320 yards and 33 catches. So he's got 86 speed, 87 catching traffic, 91 spec catch, 86 catching. This guy's a monster. Nothing else to say about a tight end with that kind of speed right now. Joey Sly, my fantasy football kicker. I actually am a really big fan of him so far. He's been doing great for me. Let's compare him to Graham Gano. He's got a 90 kick power. So I might actually be a, cool, a kicker that I have to pick up if he goes for cheap enough. He's probably not going to, but I'm going to need a better kicker soon because I've been rocking with the same one. Terry McLord, another guy on my fantasy team. Got 91 speed. Okay. So this is going to be another guy's another budget beast if he's cheap enough. He's 59k already. Terry McLaurin going to make the budget beast video next time. A 91 speed with those catching stats. Let's see. That compares to like Tyree Kill. Yeah, blows Tyree Kill away. He's got a 91 speed, 86 jumping, 84 catching, 82 catching traffic, 94, 84 spec catch, 80 short route running, 80 medium route running. This guy's like the perfect, perfect budget slot receiver. Any six feet tall? Yeah. Terry McLaurin's going to be a budget beast. Let's keep going down the list. Next, we got Daniel Hunter. He's got, he's six foot five. Let's see what his thing is real quick, actually. Leads all defensive ends with nine defeats and fourth in the NFL with 17 Harrys. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's go check the back of the card stats. He's got 84 speed, 86 excel. For a left end, that's really, really good. 81 tackle, not bad. 87 play rec, really good. 87 finesse move, really good. 82 block shed, pretty good. This card as a whole is really good. So what you're pretty much trading off here is really good athleticism for block shedding. Because properly chemmed up, you will hit the finesse and play rec thresholds. And then his block shedding will be a little bit on the lower side, but you're getting crazy athleticism at the end spot. So it's kind of like a trade off. Would you rather have an end with better block shedding or the athleticism? So next we have Thomas Morstead. He's currently number one in football outsiders gross punt value metric with punts worth five points of field position above exception. Couldn't really tell you exactly what that means. He's got 89 kick power, 89 kick accuracy. Let's compare him to my punter, Treyway. And yeah, he's way better. Honestly, I never really focus on getting punters and kickers, but I probably should because they are a really big part of Madden, especially this year when it's not as easy as it used to be in certain aspects. So here we go. Here's one of the banger guys. We got Amari Cooper. Now, I did see this guy's stats prior to him coming out. He's kind of the jack of all trades. I wish his speed was slightly better because in real life, Amari Cooper's a burner. Like, he should have at least had like an 89 speed on this card. Let's compare him to a guy like, who's an 80, like DeAndre Hopkins. He has better speed, better medium route running, better deep route running, but everything else is kind of below him. His jumping is a little low. His catching is a little low. His catch traffic's kind of low. His catch, spec catch is kind of low. Short route running is low. His medium route running is actually really good. And his deep route running is okay. I feel like they could have done a lot more with this card. Let's see, at least, does he have after like the catch ball carry moves something to justify this card? He has an 81 spin move, 86 juke move, 85 loose moves. Okay, this card does have some wiggle after the catch, which I guess makes up for it a little bit. Let's see if there's any other cards that dropped. I don't know if these are all of them. This definitely seems like there's been a lot of them. Oh, no, we got some more. All right, let's make sure we don't miss any. Carlton Davis looks like the next one. Oh, and we got Ron, Ronnie Stanley. All right, let's keep going. So we got Carlton Davis, cornerback, 85 speed, 86 excel. Decent athleticism at an 85 overall. 77 agility, eh. 79 jumping, eh. 83 play rex, okay. 86 press is really good. 80 man, 77 zone. This card's underwhelming. I really don't even know who this is. He's got 68 catching. Does he have a good hit power? Anything that I could still focus on. And let's see. No, he's got a bad hit power too. So this card's okay. Never really heard of him. Must be, uh, oh, let's read his description actually. 10th among qualified cornerbacks of 4.8 yards allowed per pass in September, 12th with 65% success rate. You guys tell me if that's good because I don't really know. It sounded good. Next, we got Ronnie Stanley, left tackle for the Ravens. So he's got 83 strength, 92 awareness, 95 pass block, 80 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, 85 run blocking, 80 run block power, 86 run block finesse. See, if that middle pass block power and run block power were in 80s and they were like 85s, this card would be pretty insane. I don't really know how to rank this card among other left tackles. Like compared to my Joe Staley, I mean, he looks pretty good. He definitely beats him in pass blocking, but then the run blocking too. I mean, he actually might be better than Joe Staley. I mean, he's actually pretty good. Okay, so Ronnie Stanley's uh, not too bad. Baltimore ranks second in adjusted line yards through September. No blown, blo no blown blocks in sports info solution charting. All right, so he must be having a pretty good season. Let's do this one more time before we end this video. Let's see if there's anything else. That should be it. This was kind of a lot of cards. I thought it'd be over by now, and it's not. Let me refresh just like two more times. Make sure I'm missing nobody. And we'll head on out of this video. All right, that's the final one. And are we done? It appears so, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the first 
installment of football outside into Madden 20. I really was not expecting this today. I completely forgot that I've been seeing this on Twitter all week. So good thing I remembered. I didn't have literally like a minute before it came out, so I was able to hop onto this video and get this done for you guys. But that's about it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy and you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. You won't want, you won't regret it. Don't miss out on all your daily Madden info and content. If you guys are also new or you're loyal, it doesn't even matter. Go hit that like button, boys. Get this video to 150 likes. If you have any, comment down below what you guys think of these football outsider cards. If you're excited for them weekly or if you're not. And also, guys, turn on that notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. That's all for the video. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.